All right, so today we got a lot to do. We got to finish up tilling. We got a lot done yesterday, but we still got to do more. So that is the mission today. Let's get to it. So yesterday I did a lot of tilling. Now I need to finish that up. I was kind of mudding it in. You, you can really tell with the way these uh, tractors, they are muddy. So I think uh, I'm just going to wash them this morning. Uh, I don't want to deal with that. I know I'm just, I have just a little bit more to uh, till, but man, I can't deal with that muddy of a tractor. Especially uh, John Deere tractor. You gotta keep them clean, shiny. I just have to have a clean tractor. So we also have to apply a little bit more lime. So I got the the big Steiger all mud mudded up too. So this thing has been a workhorse for me lately. So it's been pulling this. I have one more field of lime, but first I want to get done with my deep tillage because it is late in spring. Look at this thing. Now this thing has went and seen the mud today. Uh, I think I'm going to wash this thing up. I won't be driving this because it's a little bit underpowered for this deep tiller. So I had to raise it up just so this uh, 8230 could pull it so that's not what I really want so I'm just gonna use the 84 if you can see I have a little rock box on front of this 84 which works good in case I run into one of the rocks and I can just put it in there so kind of convenient to have that on our 84R but we will go over to our last field we need a deep rip here start this girl up raise up the front suspension there let it warm up just a tad so it's not too cold this morning it is 51 so unfortunately we just didn't get done with the tillage yesterday and last night so we still have a little bit more you can see off there in the distance there we just have a little bit of strip which isn't bad so we should get that done really quick uh, then I'm gonna have to get a cultivator somehow so I don't even have a cultivator to be honest so gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do for that so I'm gonna have to look around in between these fields it gets muddy so let's see uh, it's been raining the last few days so I am hoping this is dry enough to run this morning Man, look down there. I, we are in the mud. Have to pull this through there, so... Unfortunately, when you're pulling this through the mud, it just acts like it's actually going down and tilling, so it's kind of not helping the purpose. This thing is so narrow, it's hard to turn with it, so... Need to use my brake to turn actually. Alright, we'll back up here. I really like this uh, Great Plains tillage uh, implement here, but the only issue I find with it, it's just not heavy enough. It needs to have more weight to it. Uh, it wants to come out of the ground, you kind of see it. It fights and does everything it can to get out of the ground now uh, we're going so it goes pretty well to be honest but it just it kind of bounces and runs around everywhere uh, I really like uh, I'm kind of having the front disc far up for this uh, I don't we're just uh, actually deep ripping this uh, bean stubble which usually I don't do but basically because this ground was pretty compacted uh, this is new ground to me I, I really think I need to get down to that uh, hard uh, plane and uh, basically break it a little bit 
I'm thinking about maybe going to no-till uh, or strip-till, uh, something like that, but I'll probably at least still uh, what I call rip the ground or at least pull a ripper through the ground that gets down to the hard plane and basically breaks it up so that way it doesn't disturb the ground really much too much and it's kind of like vertical till in a way I guess so I did have a buddy helping me out earlier so we were running two tillage implements which was pretty good because I had a lot of ground I needed to till up so I tilled up that uh, our alfalfa ground or what I want to plant with alfalfa uh, that ground and then I uh, tilled up the ground in front of me and that should be the last that we need to till up so our place is off there to the side Grant's place is right there if you look over the town you can barely just see it I don't know if you guys can see it that would be uh, Jake's place uh, I believe that's Clutch's place this off to the side over here would be uh, Buck's place and I think if you just look past our uh, if you just look past our farmyard over it and keep going about in a straight line then you run into Austin's place so he's way over there in that corner so we're kind of all spread out so this is my little farmyard too it's I guess it's not really a farmyard it's just an old rundown yard I don't use it much I might store hay over there I got most of it done I don't think I can get this all on the next pass we'll have to see here uh, nope not gonna get this all on this pass looks like I'm gonna have to do just one shameful strip right there it's all right so I got this big field so this is our 80 acre field I got the little 60 acre field uh, plowed up now I got our big oh I think I'm gonna break that up though our alfalfa field so I don't think I need all that into alfalfa we don't want, all we have is horses so I don't want to get too big into alfalfa so I think I'm gonna split that up get some maybe plant some oats or something I can swap up if I need to over there and uh, that'll be good for the horses otherwise I can uh, put them through a harvester and uh, use the straw for their bedding either or my expensive horses so we are raising race horses which will be uh, kind of a new thing for me uh, I haven't really done that so Nebraska, the nice plains of Nebraska, is a good place to do it. I still can't get over how flat this ground is because everywhere you look is flat. Flat. 
even that whole town is flat I guess it makes it easy for the road construction crews for the farmers you know man I mean basically you could uh, flood irrigate this whole area here if you want like I used to have to do when I was younger we used to always dig a trench at the end of the field and we would have to uh, irrigate with that so we'd have uh, tubes that basically would you would suction water out of the the ditch into the roll of the corn or the beans or whatever you're planting so that would run down the whole field so the field would be slightly sloped kind of like this probably just at a real slight slope and the water would run all the way down to the end and flood irrigation so I used to do that a lot as a kid have to you know control the ditch and all that stuff fix the ditch if it was uh, broke down or flooded or like usual it was pretty much a full-time job so this is our last little strip we got on this field and then uh, we are ready to start and I think I'm gonna go and start liming so it's another thing I need to do I think I'm gonna have to go fill up with lime I think I'm gonna go wash that uh, the lime spreader quickly and then the good thing is we're so close to the co-op I can just run that spreader all the way down to the co-op fill it with lime don't think Jake is around but we talked to him earlier got a good deal on some lime off from the co-op so works for us and that way we could basically just run it back and we don't have to deal with uh, hauling it or picking it up after, out of the field which saves time for us because we kind of don't have much help I don't have much help around here so I kind of need it to help out saving time is wherever I can so this is our last pass so I'm going to get these uh, I'm going to get my deep disc cleaned up here put away I don't know why it's bouncing like that it's kind of I don't know if one of them actuators has a bypass in it that's kind of weird how it's bouncing almost like one of them has a bypass and it's shaking the whole thing like that a little odd so we are get this uh, tractor cleaned up we have a lot of tractors to wash up here need to wash up that 82 or 8230 that thing is oh man now I got in the mud a little bit that thing is real dirty uh, I still need to pick up some cultivators and a planter I don't know what I'm gonna pick up kind of really been trying to look for deals but now's the time to act not sit on your hands that's for sure all right I'm gonna wash up all this gear because I can't stand dirty gear we got a pressure washer right here so we are washing up our last few pieces of equipment these things I really like this uh, this Steiger here even though it's a, kind of a ugly looking color to some might think so I just like the nostalgic of that color so I always like the looks of them old Steiger tractors to me back when uh, Case and Steiger I know they made Case bought them out and they still made Steigers for a little while two different uh, type tractors but now they just combined into one all right, so now we need to go park these. I need to park this uh, Great Plains. Both these Great Plains, put them away. We don't need them for until fall. So the 8230, it's a good tractor to have, but for this uh, tillage, just a little bit too underpowered. So probably just use this as like a planting tractor. Might use it for uh, hay just kind of probably kind of a chore tractor so we bought the duels with this tractor so that way we can uh, use it for tillage 
or planting I guess more than anything doesn't really work that great for tillage it's a little bit too under power for running that lime spreader or fertilizer spreader just uh, too small of a tractor for that big because we can get about 15 ton or so on that a spreader so that's a lot of weight for this old, old uh, 8230 all right so now I need to go fill this up with another load of lime to get that uh, grass field over here completed so we'll do that quickly all right we'll turn on our hazards here make sure we're nice and visual there we're just like I said we're gonna go over to the co-op grab some lime here quickly from Jake and then uh, hopefully get back here and be able to uh, spread our whole field with lime just going down nothing unusual here this is just a normal Nebraska town with a big old articulating tractor driving down it driving by to fill up 66 this thing rides pretty good bounces a little bit if you can tell but not too bad We'll go over here, fill this up. I don't know if I'm going to fill it all the way up just because I don't want to have a lot of extra lime to deal with because then I'll have to deal with getting it out of here by coming back here. We'll get this filled up. I think it's in the back here somewhere. Alright, so it's right back here. So I'll just back it under their little conveyor right there. Hopefully, at least pretty nice little area here so they could just uh, basically they use this little bobcat to scoop whatever chemical lime pellets or whatever you need seed and fill it up right there into our little hopper kind of nice I wish it was easier than having to back up in here I guess I could drive through but the tractor's kind of big for that I just wanted to probably yeah I probably should drive through to be honest probably the easiest way oh well I'm figuring this place out all right so we will start heading down here uh, I think there's an out over here I believe there's some way to get out so there's probably an easier way than having to jump them uh, to jump the tracks there definitely a probably an easier way than doing that I probably should have came this way I think I almost popped the tire to be honest so so I plan on just driving out over here Pro I definitely probably should have definitely came went back the way I came this is not the best route to travel uh, I'm gonna come out over here by the Dollar General uh oh uh oh oh man I, I don't I can't get this gear shifter to move here uh oh uh oh uh oh oh man Oh man, oh! Hey man, what's oh, going on? You, you oh, right there? Oh, clutch, what, what's up? I don't... Holy, what happened here? Holy crap, I think... do you need a hand? What can I do here? I guess I'm gonna have to try to get out somehow. I don't know where to get out at because I think the door is stuck. Maybe I can... Can you try to unlatch the door? Maybe I could just uh, fall through quickly. Don't want to oh, get man. under this thing. All right. Um, you got your seatbelt looks like still on in there. Uh, yeah. Make sure you can reach reach that. How's your everything else feel? All right. Like you feel like you'll be able to walk once you uh, get your feet back underneath you. Yeah, I think I'll probably just end up trying to fall in, but well, I'd much rather get out of here before. All right, man. I'm gonna see then uh, if I can get to this door handle down here. Hang on one second. Here all we right. go. You got it. Right there, I think I got it. Oh man, oh, climb out! Oh wow! Whoo! <laughs> Whoo! You believe what, that? What happened here? Holy! Like what a mess! I'm pretty sure somebody hit me. I'm not positive. I kind of it get jarred me around. I kind of blacked out after the impact. Did some? Oh, is this guy all right? Oh man. Um. 
Yeah, I, just, I didn't even really notice that. I, all I could see was your tractor there. That's crazy. Anybody inside there? I don't. I don't see anybody. Where? Take off? Huh. Do you get thrown? I don't know what I, the heck happened. Where'd he Hope go? All right. I don't see anybody around here. Uh, do you have a phone or something to call the police? I probably need to block traffic at least and figure out if this guy's all right. Yeah, sounds good. I'll make a phone call quickly here. All right. Um, I guess we got to figure out what we're gonna do with this as well. But let me uh, let me call the cops quickly and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with your tractor. This is crazy. I know. Let's see. Nuts! I can't believe that little truck was able to flip this big tractor. Man, that thing really walloped me. To be honest, I think the tractor's alright. It's just like it's on the duels only. Well, we'll find out, I guess, in a second. We'll, uh, we'll have to find a way to pull this thing back over and you can check her over, but you definitely want to take her back to the shop, but I'm just glad you're okay, yeah. man. That's, uh, that's quite a ride you went for. Yeah, it's... It's definitely a venture. I, I never thought something could tip over a tractor like that, but apparently it can. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad the fire department was able to help that guy out, man. He got thrown from that vehicle. Yeah, that would have been one heck of a ride for him. He must have nailed you pretty hard to flip that thing, I'm telling you. That would have been, uh, that Dodge has got to be wrecked for sure. Holy. Yeah. I know them Dodges, they make them strong, but I was never expecting a little Dodge like that be able to flip this big trailer over. But if you think about it, it might be a little bit top heavy, so it might have helped the tip over process, so. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad they got him out of there. That's uh, that's for sure got him fixed up because uh, that'd be, you don't want that on your conscience, that's for sure. No. Um, I guess we got to figure out how to get this thing back over on his wheels. What were you thinking? Oh, man. Well, we've got a couple different options. I mean, it looks like it's in, in decent shape still. I don't see any real serious damage. Yeah, um, at least the tractor's I mean, really looking my good. Arms just like right there, I could. Oh, I got my case right there too. We can just get some equipment and tip it back over. Yeah, actually, if you pull me sideways like this, maybe we yep. could just uh, flip it back over on its side. We can at least try it. Got this hitch yeah, up I, in front I mean, right I'm, here. I'm yep. Yeah, let's let's try it here quickly and nothing else. Uh, Maybe at first I won't be in the tractor just to see how it does, and then uh, I'll jump in if it if it's not a danger, I should say to me. All right, yeah, that uh, that should work. We'll, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. I mean, it should go over relatively quickly and easily, I would think. I just uh, we'll see what happens once we connect to it, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, at least you got that. That thing should weigh more than this 3700 or 37 case here, so. Yep. So that thing should be have the weight to it at least. Yeah, I would hope so. It should be able to pull this. I think as long as it looks like the grain cart's pretty or this uh, the spreader is pretty much empty. So at least you dumped everything out of it for the most part. As long as there's not a whole bunch of left in there, that'd be my only concern, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it quickly. All right, I'm gonna run back to the farm. I'll grab a chain, and uh, then we'll grab that. I'll bring my uh, 690 over here, and we'll see what we can do with that. All right. All right, sweet. So they ended up pulling this, flipping this truck over. So the guy's all right, but the, he has he went to the hospital. Uh, this truck looks like it has a flat tire right there, but the tow truck is gonna help him out here. So at least that's out of the roadway. So that's good. Clutch, I think, is going to help me uh, flip that over. So this is probably real dangerous. This is something that. Please don't do this at home, but this is probably going to be a little bit dangerous trying to use this other tractor to flip this tractor. So we're hoping if we pull it sideways here, uh, it should uh, flip this back over. Uh, I'm a little bit leery getting in there because you never know when that thing's going to come back over. And that's not something you want to be under is in a cab when it flips over like that because that's going to do a, basically smash that cab completely but maybe we'll have to unhook this uh, spreader and just that way we can flip this uh, alright looks like clutch is showing up here but maybe we'll have to unhook it we'll see and truck clutch got his truck dirty all right, uh, looks like you got the chain, so I don't know. Do you want to drive your tractor over here? You want? How do you want to do this? 
Well, man, I figure, you know what? It's it's your tractor you're going to be rolling back over. I am totally okay if you want to take that, uh, that case, my case and give it a quick roll. I'm, I'm fine with that. It's your tractor. we got to roll over, and I'm more worried about you damaging this more than I would. So how about you do it? All right. Uh, can I unhook your uh, implement in the field yeah, over there? Yeah, of course. I'll land off. Just, uh, you can just leave it right where it's at. You can just disconnect it right there. That's totally fine. All right. Sweet. Well, at least one good thing happened here. We get to drive this big beast of a... Uh, quad track here, big 620, so we'll unhook this quickly. Look at this thing, it's giant! So cool. So we're hoping that this will weigh more than the, my tractor and we'll be able to do this. So we'll hook up this chain here quickly and uh, and try to get this knocked out. Hey, I think I'm just gonna, I feel ballsy today, so I'm just gonna ride it out. I'm gonna get into my, uh, my tractor, and hopefully you just pull as hard as you can as fast, and I'll try to turn it while you're doing it. Hopefully it just flips right over. It, it should, I mean, it looks like it, it's going to. Are you sure you're up for that kind of a ride, man? That's gonna be one heck of a ride. You're, you've already been up today. You sure you're good with that? Uh, I need this tractor, so I, I guess this is the uh, cheapest. It's definitely not the safest, but I think it'll work. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I'll uh, I'll jump up into my case here and uh, you know let me know what's going on back there. Hopefully this works out alright, but it looks like it should be okay. I think it, just looking at this right now, I think if we give it a quick tug, it should just roll over onto its wheels and bring the, uh, the spreader along with it, hopefully. Yeah, I was really lucky because it could have, like, bended up this muffler in the cab and all that, and it just looks like it just landed on the duels, basically. So I'm still going to have to yeah, bring it right. to the shop, but I think I think I got lucky in that spec, at least, so. All right, I'm ready. Give it all. Well, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice and easy. All right. Oh, oh, on, oh, oh. Oh, oh, man, this is a bouncy ride, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Woo. That actually worked. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Well, actually, this thing, wow, it hardly got uh, scratched up at all. Man, that's kind of yeah, nice. I okay, I mean, uh, you may want to check some of the fittings over on your trailer here, but... On the spreader, she looks like it might have taken a bit of a beating, but your your yeah. uh, your tracker looks like she's okay. Yeah, well, you came through that big uh, quad track. Did save the day right there. Wow, that's crazy. Perfect. I, I think I'm awesome. still gonna take it over to the garage just to look over, just to make sure. But I think yeah, I, I lucked out a little bit. I highly recommend you get that thing looked at for sure. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for coming by and helping me out. You freaking saved the day. Hey, man, I'm just glad I could help. It was uh, when I came around the corner and saw you on your side there, I definitely thought the worst. So I'm just glad I was able to help you out and get this thing all all good to go so you can get back out in the fields again. All Anyways, right. Like I said, I've got some more work to do, so I'm going to disconnect, hit the road, and I will catch you later on, I guess. All right, see ya. Thanks. All right, so I'm going to take this over to uh, Mike's garage, get this all looked at. Uh, really surprised this thing is driving so straight I mean I wasn't expecting I was expecting at least something seriously damaged I'm taking the RPMs really low I, I just want to make sure everything's a-okay before I use this for planting beans plantings coming up I need to make sure this tractor is good to go really fortunate that clutch was right there helped me out helped me get out of the tractor brought his big old quad track over and flipped me back over that was pretty cool so definitely was lucky I, I never expected I would tip over a big tractor like this so thank y'all for watching and I will see you later here in Nebraska thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe